going on YouTube? How's it going? How are things going? Let me uh, mute that. Hopefully everyone's going all right. Everybody's uh, had good sales today. Uh, yeah, a little minute or two late. wasn't too bad. So, everyone had good eBay today. Yeah, finally, my internet's been working really, really well. So, things have been working all right. So, today's been a rough day. Not really. Not really as bad as yesterday, but just a couple, a couple things that happened. Oh, let's see who's in the chat. What do you have here? Gail, how's it going? Adam, Destiny, Donna, Adam, Treasure, Treasure Hustlers, Monica. What's my opinion on Amazon FBA private label? Uh, it takes some time, but once you figure it out, it could do well for you, or it could do, or it could be bad for you. You got to figure out uh, what product you want to do. Casey Neistat. Oh, I see what you're saying. Nice. Ah. Um, hey, Rob. Rob Renee, what's going on? All right, so yeah, today, today was tough. Today, uh, every liquidation lot I bid on, someone bid it up at least 100 bucks. So I didn't touch it. Um, it was tough. I, this morning I tried stuff. This afternoon, uh, there were a couple blue lots things I looked at, uh, but I missed. I let that. There's a Samsung cameras. I let those go. So today I didn't win anything, which is all right. A couple lots I saw online on liquidation weren't uh, that great, so I felt like I would, was just bidding on something to bid on it today. But uh, I had a couple returns today. Now it followed suit as what, of what happened yesterday. Uh, so uh, I sold a, some guitar strings in a bag. Now I forget, I don't have it here, but they looked brand new and they were open. Well, supposedly the person who got them said they were used and they were cut down, but I couldn't tell. I mean, it looked brand new, so it was only 12 bucks, but I reimbursed him and let them, I let him keep it for 12 bucks. Uh, there was a uh, uh, a watch that was a kind of an activity watch. It was one of those with things, I think it's what it's called, by no Nokia. It wouldn't turn on. So in the listing, I said uh, the item uh, probably needed a new battery, couldn't get it to turn on. I think I still had returns on it. And what happened was uh, the person took it to a professional watch person to try and get it changed, and it said he couldn't get it open. So he was, he was asking for a return. Now, I'm all right with that because I figured either someone tampered with it and I didn't realize it, and uh, uh, it really was something that they couldn't get open. And at that point, I probably could, if I fought it, I wouldn't have won just because the way he stated what was wrong with it. So I just took the return for $3 shipping. I figured one of those, it's going to be easy to get rid of or return it again. But... Um, Monica had one return request today. Yeah, and then what's the, I had one more. What's the other one I had? Uh, the headset's still open. So the person with my camera lens uh, has not started the return yet. So they have until Saturday to ship it back. So 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 far on that front, uh, they have not shipped it back. The the Nokia watch though, they shipped it back. Uh, the other things I got listed last night. So you saw the video I put up today. It kind of showed you what I, I tried to do before and after. Uh, Monica, was the return on your watch, that Mickey watch? Was that the one? So, yeah, what else? I listed the stuff last night. I listed the, uh, the camera lens, the other camera lens. I listed the uh, left, left controller for the Nintendo Switch. And I got some questions today, too, about local apps. So here's a scenario that happened today. 
um, I'm selling that N Nintendo Switch, right? And this happened not only with the unit, but with the games that, w that were with it. So someone wants Mario Kart and the N Nintendo Switch games. I mean, they're brand new. If you buy one of those, just the games only, the games are about 60 bucks. Uh, so I had, I, I sell them on eBay for about 53 each, 53 bucks. Now, I don't know if this happens to everyone else on local, uh, local buyers, but they said, okay, I just want the Mario Kart game out of the lot. Uh, what could you give it for me? And I said, I could do 50. Well, they come back and say, I can get it new in the store for 60. Tell me that uh, it's saying the, the $10 offs, it should uh, be more. Do you guys get that with prices that they feel like they should get a, a better deal just because it's local? So I said, I didn't respond after he said that. I, I did sell another uh, baby carrier today. The baby inserts that I did get from Blue, Blue Lots, since I lowered the price down to 23 those have been selling pretty well. So I sold one of those today. Destiny says all the time. Yeah. they, they I mean, Do they want it for half off? I have one of the Lego sets from Blue Lots. I have it up for 75 The guy offered me 30 So I think it's kind of, at least for me, 80% of the time, people want it for free. Uh, I really haven't gotten any new inventory since I'm down listing on a day because of the selling limits. Oh, Benji. Okay, so you have selling limits. Depending on the win law, last time you get raised, I think you can raise your selling limits within 30 days. So if you haven't, I would give them a call and ask for them to up, up your listing amount. I had so many inquiries for my appliances and not one sale. So the other thing is, is Scott Tucker? I didn't see Scott in here yet. Or I forget, it was Scott or Four Hopes. One of them had the PlayStation remote. Well, let's see if I still have it. Yeah, right. So this, so this thing, this thing worked, tested with my PlayStation. Uh, and the reason I ask if they're in here because uh, they said they had one of these and they couldn't sell it. But so I put this up for, I said used because I mean, it looked, it looks used a little bit, uh, not too, too much, but just enough to break me on the edge. So I listed it's used for $29.99 within uh, what was it? Within probably 15 minutes of listing it, uh, I had a best. I had a uh, someone best offer me. Now I let it sit there forever. Oh, you just sold for 42. Nice. Well, I had best offers all night. I probably had nine since since this morning. Finally, someone just paid the full price and bought it for 29.99. So this was. I mean. This was probably one of the most items I've ever had people wanted a best offer on, but it was instantaneous. Then Demir sold first one Fuji Hinstax Mini for 60 Nice. What color was it, Demir? And did it work? Because I sold a one that uh, had a printer issue for 39 and it was blue. I had a Flamingo Red. No. Was it pink or red? It was pink. For fi excuse me, for 51 so, and then I have one that the, the face popped off of. I have that up for 29 Uh Wait until January or December to do another yard sale. Yeah, that could work. Hey, Curtis, what's going on? Pink, nice. Yeah, the pink ones sell pretty well. Like new, yeah. All right, so that, I, I was surprised that sold pretty well. All right. Uh, what else did I sell today? I sold uh, Sold I want to make sure you because today was pretty good. I had a couple sales coming throughout the day, so I was, I was quite a I Sold an Adonit snap pen So it's like one of those other uh, iPad pens. It's like really thin. I sold that for 30 Sold a pair of headphones HBS 750s. I sold that for 20 a Nintendo Switch charger base. I sold that for 25 The Ergo Baby Carriers, those are selling like crazy. So if you see a good deal of those on Blue Lots, don't hesitate to get those. Just make sure you get it for the right price. And I sold a cassette adapter that's Bluetooth for 20 So I'm going to ship that out. But yeah, 
those couple, I mean, the way I look at the returns that they say that there was something wrong with it that I missed, it was money I should have probably never had in my account anyway. Uh, so I try not to get too discouraged. Now, if it's something I, that I know that works that they can't use or they're just trying to get a return, that's where it really hurts. But it happens. PowerPoint for speaking engagements. Okay. Uh, I was going to say liquidation. So I have the stuff I missed today. I had something else I was going to tell you guys. Returns. Oh, the other thing I had to deal with today was, so I don't know if I told you everyone that my uh, Uber account got hacked. So they were buying uh, Uber rides on my personal credit card as well as my corporate account. That got stopped, and then it went on to PayPal. Well, the other thing that happened was I got all that stopped. PayPal still in dispute with one of my $35 charges. So I had to call them last night, and that took forever. So uh, that's still in, in the air. The last piece was this morning I get a, a, a text on my phone saying, here's the code to uh, refresh your Amazon account. You know how if you change your password, it sends you like a six-digit number? Well, I'm like, I never requested my password to be reset or trying to change something in my account. So someone was trying to go on my account and change something in my Amazon. So I call, eventually I call Amazon, and I kept trying to get uh, to reset or verify my email account. I couldn't figure out, so I called Amazon, and uh, I was trying to get them to add a new email account or reset it for me, and they kept sending me emails to my Yahoo. Well, I was never getting emails for some strange reason. So I had them put a Gmail address on it and finally got it sorted and I got in my Amazon account, Amazon account changed the password, et cetera. So what I did is I ordered bubble mailers. If you go out to bubble mailers, and I think, I'm not sure if the link in my description works, but I will fix it if it doesn't. The packs I get for 100 are $17 with uh, tax. And if you're a Prime member, seventeen sixty four I think is what I paid. So I ordered those because I needed some more. And I never got the email alert. So I'm like, what's going on here? Something's not right. So what happened was somehow someone got into my Yahoo account and turned on a filter. The filter uh, eliminated all my anything in, the, in it, an email with the address of Amazon.com and threw it to my uh, archive. So any Amazon.com email went direct to my archive. So I deleted that filter and I go into my archive. There's all my Amazon.com resets on it. So for some reason, I don't know why they would do that. If they would, if they were longer term trying to order stuff and me not figure it out and it would go into my archive. But it was really weird that they would do that. So yeah. That was my uh, excitement for this morning. It took me about an hour and a half to get that sorted and figured out but that was fun and then I spent the next two hours looking at liquidation.com trying to order uh, or bid on several lots there was one lot out there was there was a Rokinen lens now I ended up bidding on it and again it went up a hundred dollars too high and then there was another one that had um, I saved the link I'm gonna try and post it here but uh, seeing if it was one of you guys I was bidding against I was hoping it wasn't but I had to let it go. Let me see if I get that link. I'll share it. Plus, I want to, I want to get your guys' opinion, too. Uh, what you guys think of this lot that I was looking at. Here it is popping up here. All right. So I was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to get another Rokinen lens. I'm going to be able to sell it. Or I'm, not, I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. All right, here's the link. All right, check that out. So that was the first lot I was looking at, and it closed at, let's see, it closed at 341 So with shipping 40 80 it would have been almost $400. So I let that, I let that one go. <laughs> Monica says, you weren't bidding against me because I wasn't buying. I'm not bidding on any lots. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I got all that stuff listed last night. I'm going to open one of the boxes here. Uh, let's 
see. It was probably Roland Picker. Hopefully it wasn't. I'm like, oh, man, someone's going to bid on this Rokinen lens. How do you determine what lots to buy and what price you're willing to pay? So I have a list of items I look for. And uh, if those items, items appear at the top, I'll bid on the lot and try and guess based on returns and how the product usually appears. So if I know I get this remote in every lot and this remote 90% of the time is unbroken and that's going to be my money maker, then I'll bid on that lot. Recently, if you've looked and I looked at when I was looking today, there were, there were items in the top, top five that were things I've never even seen before or brands I've never heard of. So if, I, if it's a brand I never heard of, like that truck thing I got last night, that's usually tough for me to say I'm going to keep those or I'm going to bid on them. That was a good lot and the stuff, if the stuff that worked. Yeah, I thought it was good, but it got real high. I said, screw it. But um, who's that? Curtis. So I'll take the top five items, the, the money-making items at the top, and I'll look at what they're selling for. $35 for a loose leaf binder, yeah. Yeah, there's some weird ones in there. All right, so this this is kind of a new a new niche for me. Well, kind of. I've never been on this many of one item. It is bed, bath, and home. And if the main item isn't in this box, it'll be in the next one, but I'll show you why I've been on it. I paid, let me check this lot. What did I pay for this? Whoops. I've been signed out. All right, so it's... All right, it uh, blew me out. I got to add my liquidation account back. Oops, wrong. Oh, add account. When I first started Google Sheets, I used my other email address, not my liquidation OH. And my phone's upstairs. All right, so there it is. Let me get my code. Five four five six three five. All right. So this had a pet item. An electronics pet item is why I bid on this lot. Uh, this this is Curtis. So if you're asking why I look for this, is one of the items I look for. Hopefully, it's in the first box. But it's uh, it's a pet cube item. Pet cube camera. That's why I, I buy it. But this, if this is the one I'm looking at, it's two. I paid two fifty two. Did the truck tuner work? Yeah, the truck tuner. Uh, I plugged it in, and it powered up. I didn't try and plug it in my truck, but uh, it did turn on. It appeared a little worn, so instead of three eighty nine, I listed it for three forty nine. We'll see if I get any bites on it. Demir says, on Amazon, you can change your shipping address when you purchase something and it ships anywhere. Yeah. So I looked in there, and I uh, the, only the addresses in there were mine so far. Yeah, so that's what I'm wondering. If they, if they were kind of probably on their way to doing that, to changing my address, and I caught it too early, but it, stuff like that annoys me. Does it count if I have watchers on a few of my listings? Sure, it counts. Watchers work. I love looking for watchers. I don't know if anyone else has that addiction, but I love looking in there. I know it doesn't mean ever mean anything, but uh, I love looking at how many watchers there are. So here's some stuff. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be sitting on this for a while, but we'll see. Automatic water bowl. This looks kind of used, but it's an automatic dog water bowl. Plug your hose in there. So here's some items that I don't know they're gonna be onesie twosies solar light pack I'm probably gonna ask myself why I bid on this stuff but we'll see all right this lot I hate because it doesn't have the manifest stickers on them A thermos so double check when you get these thermoses. I stole, I sold one of those uh, Camelback Kid water bottles. 
and I didn't even think of it. It didn't have a straw, but it doesn't look like this has a straw in it. So I refunded the person 50% uh, off, and they kept the item. But stupid thing, I didn't even think about it having a straw, but this looks brand new. Still has the sticker on it. Nothing wrong with that. Just comes with a spoon, which is kind of cool. Look at that. So that's interesting. Little things like this I like, like personally, but selling them kind of stinks just because it's a little heavy and it's probably not worth much. How many boxes do I get a month? So I'll tell you how many box. I'll tell you how many lots I got last month. Month. Let's just say average. Um, let's say I average about two boxes a lot, or two boxes in each auction. So for the month of October, I won count twelve lots. Twelve lots, and I paid. Let's see. I paid out of my pocket with shipping all in $5,500. And right now, I am still down, uh, I'm down $97. Just because uh, there's two, two or three that I'm still, the top items haven't sold yet, but eventually they'll get there. Now for me, the trending is when I actually start making my money. It's probably two or three months after I've gotten the box, 80% of the time. So if I go back to, uh, let's see, if I go to September, September I'm up 200 bucks, and I purchased two, four, five lots. Uh, August I purchased three. So that was my biggest month. I'm up 300 from my August lots. June, I'm up 400. May. So the hard thing is a lot of that stuff that's still in my listings, they're still selling. So they sell from lots that I've had for four months ago, five months ago. So it's kind of hard to say, okay, these last couple lots, I mean, you're going to make your money right away. It's going to take forever. Oh, Demir, thanks. It's a F-350, a Larry edition. How much do you typically pay per lot? My average is probably 250, 250 to 300. Let me look at my average here, my last couple. My last 16 lots, my average is 267 all in is what I pay. That's my average. Yeah, thanks. I love, yeah, I love my truck. Yeah, Trails are Hustlers. That's all in. Oh, you have a 2016? Mine's a 2011. I had an F-150. My last truck was uh, 15 years old. Then I got too, too much money sinking into it, so I bought a new one. Um, shipping costs. Yeah, shipping costs a lot. For, I mean... I like getting the, the lots from Indiana. For me, Indiana lots below like 60 pounds, 50 pounds, or $40 shipping, which I could deal with. Vegas can get close to 80 pretty quick. I Right now, I will not touch any lot that has uh, uh, pallets or the shipping is just way too much. Um, now, if I look to arrange my own shipping or I did a pickup, I'd look at that, but... Plus, plus the risk is higher. You're, you're shelling out a lot more money for one lot. I like to minimize my risk. This looks to be a pink bed skirt. See, I'm going to get some random. I think mine was in Vegas and we were in California. Yeah, that's it shouldn't be too bad then, depending on the weight. So I'm really nervous that these – see, this lot This lot will take a little longer to sell. It's a cool water bottle. Takea. So this looks unused. I bought my first lot in September from OEM Experts and haven't sold one item from that lot. Yeah. Uh, oh. Either this is condensation or there's water in here, but I don't know. We'll see. Redneck. Hey, Redneck, what's up? 
I would not. So yeah, that's. I have been courted by them, but I've not touched them. Uh, it still costs 140. Yeah, some of that stuff can get real expensive. What is the average profit per lot that I usually make? So this is going to be weighted. I'm going to try and exclude the last couple of lots I bought based on the profit. So let's say just for this year from what I've purchased, my average profit is $122 per lot. But there's only a handful that I've probably broken even on. So I'll tell you in December or in January, in January alone, I purchased seven lots. My average return was profit was 280 a lot. Uh, so, I mean, my things for my January lot, that lots have still been selling. So it's kind of skewing the numbers if the sooner the, the lots that have been there that take a little longer to sell. Uh, uh, what's it called? A little longer to sell, you know, the lower profit. But you'll, I mean, you'll make your money. So that's why I buy a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of lots. So if I make a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars in each one, if I can multiply that and scale it up, then making it there. And then if you buy the, the right items like this lot, I probably should never bought this lot that I have right here. Yeah, this is going to be a long tail light. These are probably all going to be long tail. So. I mean, right here, I get a ton of water bottles. So Contigo, um, what are these? So these are going to be longer. I might put these local. There's nothing on here. Um, we have a Turvis tur Tumbler, Alabama. Look at that. Expensive lesson to learn, but lesson learned, yeah. That's not bad, Chris, when you consider what is broken or donated. Yeah, that's the tough part. I mean, it's part of the game, but the testing and the donating, it's all part of the cost, and that's not in it when I just read those numbers. Uh, time and that, but yeah, I need a booth. I was looking at that today. I was talking to someone about a booth to open up, but there's only a, probably one or two in Columbus, and it's really antique stuff. So I'm not sure where I can find a booth where I can unload some of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. Heat stress gear. Another Contigo uh, water bottle. Electric coffee grinder. Now I have a Krupp one that I couldn't sell. I can't sell yet. This appears... This appears unused, assuming it works, but I mean, again, if it's not name brand, you're, you're not going to get much for it. And the heavier stuff, like this, this stuff would do better locally just because it's so heavy. Shipping's shipping is going to eat a lot of your profit. So be careful. That's why I like electronics. Electronics are light. Uh, shipping's not too much. They sell pretty quickly. And you could ship them online or sell them online. A lot of this stuff's super heavy and think about this these items if they're used no one's going to want to buy a used water bottle someone's going to want to buy used headphones but not a used water bottle so that's the other thing to weigh out when you're looking at housewares at least for me um no sound oh uh, so yeah this so that's the other thing. I got a couple I a couple shirts in my lots. And I had one forever and it finally sold. So like this, I'll be holding on to this for a while. What is this? This looks just to be a white shirt. Badger Sport. It's kind of like an Under Armour, feels like. But it still has the tag on it. So I've been buying from bulk and I want to try liquidation one of these days. So Marcio, is, it, is that how you say it? Marcio? We're going to have a, a drawing probably next week, not this weekend, but the weekend after for a liquidation code. So I'll, I'll have details on Saturday about how you can join to get the potential to win the code. But that'll be a $20 code that's good for a month.
if you win. And we usually do that every month. So if that'd be a good chance for you to try liquidation. I'd love to hear about how you use bulk. I've never found stuff on bulk. Man, all these water bottles. Or this looks to be a, I have no idea what this is. What food storage containers? Yeah, this box is junk pretty much. Water filter. So this might do all right. So this is sealed. It's a wa sealed water filter. Uh, any type of water filters sell pretty well. So look at those. I get the, uh, what are the, it's not the LG ones. There's a lot of water filters you can find, and they sell pretty well. Treasure, treasure hustlers, I feel the same. Bulk is always overpriced. I would love to find something, but I haven't found something that I think I'd do well with. Uh, weird spatula. That looks unused, but... Man, this is some weird stuff in here. These are white bags? No idea. Huh. Bulk advertised, and they got ripped pretty badly. When was that, Adam? When did they get uh, when did they get advertised? Yeah, this box has some random stuff. So this definitely doesn't have what. All right, here we go. I'm kind of nervous about this box. I only paid two fifty, but we'll see. Um, this looks used. You could tell the face is all scratched. This thing's. Yeah, this thing's definitely been used, and it's busted. You can see right there. That's busted. Another water filter. So, uh, let's see. What is this? This looks like some sort of bed sheet or blanket or something. Knee support. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, this is some weird case. Let's let's open this. Aesthetic, Aesthetica. Just right click on the download. Oh, so this looks like to be a makeup kit. Again, weird stuff in here. Weird, weird, weird. Uh, so this is one of the items, a dog shot collar, training collar. I said wireless uh, fence receiver collar. So it's open. It looks new. So this is one of the top items. So uh, I'll get this listed. This will, this and the other thing I got should pay for it. If you can sell the water filter with one bottle. If you can sell the water filter with one bottle. Oh, one of these? Yeah, maybe. There you go. So the, the thing is, I'm nervous about selling the water bottles just because I don't know if they're brand new or not. You want some spoons? Look at that. Silverware. That is, that is really weird. Silverware. Man, I hit the jackpot here. Knife. A, what is it? Twin? Zwilling J.A. Henkels. Henkels. How often do I buy lots? I try to buy at least two, at least two a week. That's a minimum. Keep this out. I'm going to do that one. A wireless doorbell. Whoa. Look at this. You want a bird feeder? Bird feeder. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy good bird feeder. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But I'm surprised it's not smashed. Quality knife. So rolling picker, is that a good knife you think? Is that a good knife? Look at this. It's kinda cool. I'm look I'm waiting to find the chip. Oh there it is. There it is. So Denver mug. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of the handle kind of got pulled back right there. But I want a bird feeder. <laughs> hey, at least you're getting. Yeah. See, I would rather be getting LPs at this point. So this stuff I'm getting right now. 
another mug. Brand been around a long time. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like a hummingbird feeder. Don't like the Broncos, but that's a nice mug. All right, that one's chipped. You can see that. That's busted. I'm throwing that away. I need a personal assistant. I could use a personal assistant. That'd be great. All right. So, hmm. this has really been random. Is there anything in that lot to stop cats coming into my yard? <laughs> maybe, maybe this right here. Scented candle. Jonathan Adler scented candle. Yeah, I used the mug for all the pencils. That's a great idea. Yeah, I could use that pencil holder. This thing smells. Ooh. Yeah, that wasn't good. Oh, yeah. Not good at all. It's all in my hands. Oh. I did smell it. It's all in my hands now. Hold on. Oh, that's awful. That's why they had it wrapped up. Why even put it in the box? Hold on. Oh. All right, that wasn't good. Yeah, this one's not good. Went from bad to worse. <laughs> Have you ever done any sealed bidding? No, I have not. I've seen it. What was the scent? Uh, champagne. Here. There you go. That just sums up this lot. Now that makes me want to open this other box. All right, hold on. All right, hold on, guys. Let me. Yeah. I can't wait. I got to open the other one. Oh. That was terrible. That was probably one of the worst boxes I've ever opened. The worst. Nice to have a sink that close to the computer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to open this other one. I was going to wait until tomorrow, but that box kind of made me mad. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's what I wanted. All right. All right, this is better. All right. This is what I wanted. Pet cube. This thing, these things will sit for a little while. I sold my last one for 99 All right. Awesome. Still has a sticker on it. It's not cracked. I don't know if the inside's busted or not, but there you go. So I am not sure. I gotta check that out. The, the middle kind of looks funky on it, but we'll see. Can the cube do tricks? It it shoots lasers supposedly. Lasers out. I won five point one pounds of Disney jewelry. Nice. It was champagne pouring down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Gosh. So you'd rather have paper, pens, pencils, markers, and records, CDs, and DVDs? Yes. I would rather have that than this junk. So this will really be interesting. This will test my selling ability. Just because some of the weirdest junks in here. Egg maker. Now the real test is if someone's used it. All right, that looks brand new, so that's okay. Assuming it works. No idea what that is. I want to open it because I'm not going to put it back together. All right, immersion blender and food processor. See, that's, uh, for me, stuff that you get with food, as long as no one's used it, doesn't this one doesn't look used? So you can see, um, you get. I mean, if food's on it, you got to clean it, then you just got to touch it. Keep that. What can it be worth? Seven to ten dollars. 
which one. Nice. See, now I can't get it back in. They make these boxes impossible to get stuff in, and they make it. Oh, gosh. See, I opened it. Chuck it across the room. Probably, yeah, 8 to 10 bucks. I'm thinking. You want some 5-ounce tumblers? I mean, I can't even resell that. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this necklace. Wow. I can't even put this thing on. It's busted. Yeah. It's busted. Oh, man. Not good. Someone wants to egg things, sell it. It's hard to even put things together nowadays. Yeah, that's busted. Bead bracelet pink. Sorry, someone's I'm me. All right. Yeah, someone went dumpster diving and sent me a box that I bid on. This is empty. It looks uh, Arrow Garden Sea Pod Kits. Oh, this is aggravating. It looked good in the picture. A little this is actually not broken and it won't shut oh, look at that so it will not seal oh man all oh, this sucks sheets sheets send it back yeah I mean, I can't really send it back. These are all returns. That appears busted. Note to self. Don't buy one of these. The problem was, the reason I bought it was because of this thing. So I bought it for one item. One item. Oh, well. I can't win them all. Oh, here's a pot. Califan Classic. But the only problem is... All right. All right, all right. Look at that. I'll take it. There's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. These were Amazon returns. This was bed, bath, and home. Bed, bath, and home. You want a foam cervical collar. What did I do? I don't know what I did. That's the problem. I don't know what I did. See? I don't know what I did. And I can't even wear it. Too small. Oh, maybe I need to wear it. Choke me for what I've done. Not Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> I mean, look at this. What is this thing? No idea what that is. Some sort of dog toy that's ripped. Nespresso descaler. This looks to be all right. Looks to still be in the packaging. Yeah, so that might be okay. Like that, some. Oh, I'm gonna break it. Oh boy. Oh. All right. So these are filters. So Samsung filters. All right. The light's getting a little bit brighter. I would send it back. I don't think I can send it back. They're going to say it's returns. 
which it is. I don't blame them. What the heck is this? This is beverage heater. Look at that beverage heater for your car. Ah, oh, more sheets. Kill me. Kill me with the sheets. More candles. This one's not sticky. Soy candle. Mike, you're right. I like the challenge. All right, maybe I should call the worst box ever challenge. <laughs> I keep telling myself it's getting better. I got to have some sort of positivity. Sheets or curtains? I don't know. Let's, I'll, let me open one here. Hold on. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Pill pockets for dogs. Gotta hide that so my dog doesn't eat it. No idea what this is. Looks like some sort of sleeve. Evo shell. Pillow protector zipper pack. And a furniture slip cover. So I hit the jackpot of crap. All right, let's check. Let's open one of these up. Were you sleeping bidding? I should have been because that would have further justified what the crap I got. My dog got smart and started picking the pills out. All right, let's look at this. I have no idea what this is. Is it an apron? Do you wear it? Or, oh, you know what it is? It's a chair cover. See? There it is. It's the top. Here's the back. Here's the front. There you go. Chair cover. Ties around the back. Smells, smells new. Try it on. Yeah, Four Oaks got it. Slip cover. Probably just as good to pull, to pull the pills and the piece of cheese. Yeah. Think it'll sell well? I don't even know what it, who makes it. I guess I can look in my manifest, but yeah, look at that. Oh, talk about outside of my comfort zone. Oh, this is not good. All right, how should we do this? How should we follow this journey of selling this stuff? I'm glad I didn't pay more than I did at 250. 252. Ugh. Ugh. Not good. Uh, it may have a tag inside. Yeah. Yeah, Adam. I'll be all right. I'd sell it all. That's a good point. I could try that. Maybe what I'll do is I'll sell what I can online. Yeah, 252, too much. How much is the water bowl? So this water bowl here, I don't know. It looks used. I don't know, I don't know if it looks kind of used or not, but. Uh, I'd have to try it. My my assumption is it's going to leak all over the place. Or whatever's inside of here. Connects to garden hose, fills automatically, will not overflow. I'm going to guess the overflow regulator is busted. So, I don't know. That was too much, yep. Put the whole lot on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I'll lot it out. That's what I'll do with all the local stuff. They go around fifty dollars. What goes around fifty bucks? Oh, this bowl you're saying? Yeah, I gotta plug it in outside. I'll try it out. So, oh, dropping stuff all over the place. All right, 
I will keep you guys posted on the slot and let you know what happens. But otherwise, it was a dud. Big dud. I don't think I've ever had a dud like this. But definitely outside my comfort zone and makes it fun, so we'll see. All right. Uh, so look up look up the slip covers. Yeah, let me look right now. I have my uh, slip cover. It's looking. Leather sh might be a, so. There's a bunch of assorted. It says assorted bed, bath, home, and closet at twenty nine ninety nine. It's probably one of those. The stainless steel Califan pot that I showed you. That retails for $30. Um, let's see what else. The, so the collar I'll probably make some money on. They say that retails for $139. I'll have to look that up. The... Easy fold portable round a changing pad with pockets. They says retails for eighty six dollars. I don't even know that where that is. And it says the two pack of Samsung water purifiers are sixty bucks. But we'll see how that goes. And someone else mentioned the doorbell. The doorbell chime is thirty five. The water bowl is thirty two. No, I'm sorry, that's not the water bowl. The knife is 25. The egg cooker is 20. The cleaning kit for Nespresso is 20. So we'll see. I'm maybe I might be all right. Yeah, it's gonna definitely gonna be a challenge. Sell the pot locally. Yeah, I'll sell the pot locally. I'll probably do 20 bucks. Oh, Mike, you bought the, the baby lotion diffuser oil. Nice. How are you going to sell it? Here, use my glasses when you bid on your next box. Yeah, that is definitely true. I need to wear my glasses because I was blinded by the pet cube. Blinded is an understatement. I thought for sure I would be a winner. Now watch this thing. The, watch the pet cube not even work. So we'll see. Anyone else have any other questions? What I'll do is I'm going to use this slot. I'm going to set the slot aside. What I'm going to try to do is uh, uh, kind of segregate it so you guys can see if this stuff even sells. Kind of give you updates throughout the week. And as things sell, I'll let you know specifically from this lot. What do you, what do you guys want to call this lot? Let's pick a name for this lot so we can uh, – I can as – as I tell you things sell – uh, I can call it something so you guys know exactly what it is. I can tell you what I do with it, how I sold it, where I sold it, how much I got for it. So, uh, yeah, the crap lot, basically, the loser lot. Too much money for shit, yeah. Sleeping Beauty. Ooh, that's a good one. You think it's good, but it's not. So... I'll post it on the group. Maybe you guys come in. You guys can leave a comment. What you guys think it can be? We'll pick one. Box of rubbish. Ha. So yeah, I'll I'll post in the Facebook group and we can get some comments. Dumpster junk. The DJ lot. Nice. So all right, guys. I'm gonna sort through this. What not to buy? Yeah, the what not to buy lot. Watch me make the most money on this slot, and then everyone's going to – I'll be laughing at all of you, right? The oops box. <laughs> oops, I did it again. Too good to be true. Yeah. Watch me, uh, watch me double my money. That would be amazing, right? That's all right, Zero One Wolf. We'll, we'll turn it around. We will turn this ship around. So – all right, guys, I'm going to start. I'm going to list a couple things. I'm going to test the, the two high priced items, get those listed. I'm going to make money on this lot, and we'll call it the moneymaker lot. 
I like it that one, Donna. Um, hit the like button if you like the video. We will use this bo box as an example, and we'll follow the progress on this box, and we'll see how quick and how long I'll make my money back. So thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry for I was a couple minutes late. Um, and we will talk to you, the Cinderella lot. Let's roll the dice box. Ooh, I like that. Let's roll. Let's roll the dice. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you all tomorrow.